4,000 people at the Saitama Super Arena. It is time for the main event of Critical Countdown Absolute 2006. Hidehiko Yoshida, the 1992 Olympic gold medalist in judo, who eliminated former boxing champion Yusuke Nishijima. Total Elimination Absolute 2006 set to face the Croatian sensation Mirko Krokop. Krokop told us that one of his father's dreams, his dad no longer with us, was for his son to win an Olympic medal. Of course, mixed martial arts is not an Olympic sport, Trig. And Krokop says, well, the next best thing would be to defeat an Olympic champion. He gets that opportunity tonight in the main event. He's got a pretty good shot, too, because his hand game is so good. I think he might be able to keep Yoshida out. But we can see, like we, like we saw in some fights in the past, if the grappling get inside and take him down to the ground, this fight can be over very quickly because Yoshida's submission game on the ground is so much so much more superior than at least the Krokops has been in the past. When you're assigned to face Mirko Krokop, it's usually a, a pretty ominous task. And yet when we were talking to Yoshida, he was joking around with us, seemed very relaxed, uh, even made the joke that he, uh, well, made his head a smaller target for Krokop's left high kick by getting a haircut. And then I think it was tongue-in-cheek when he told us he wants to knock out Krokop with a left head kick. Yeah, I don't, uh, it had to be cut down cheek I don't, I don't think you should get his, uh, get his leg up that high. Mirko Krokop is 31-6-2, 221 pounds, 15-4-2 and two in Pride Fighting Championships. Hidehiko Yoshida is 36-5-11, 225 pounds, 6-3-1 and one in Pride Fighting. Krokop made short work of Ikuisa Minowa, total elimination absolute 2006 in May, stopping him with strikes very early in the first round and again looking to become the first absolute champion in Pride since Mark Coleman did it in 2000. Of course, there's the uh, man who stands in his way, Hidehiko Yoshida. Judge! 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 Ready, go! Wow, great overhand right stepping in. Kind of surprised that she's willing to stand here and bang with Krokop a little bit. Yeah. 
Elbows a little bit high. So I'd like to see Krokop throw a couple of jabs in here. He's got the he's got the position, he's got the distance. Throw a couple of jabs out there. Is that left finally? Krokop with one of the best takedown defenses in the game. Yoshida trying to secure the single leg, now going to a Greco-Roman clinch. As Krokop along the ropes, delivers a short knee strike to Krokop's left thigh. Good job by Krokop, getting underneath it, so he's getting his right arm, excuse me, his left arm underneath there. Then what's called an over-under position, or a 50-50 position. Both guys have the advantage here. Well, Yoshida actually has the advantage. He spent more time doing throws. Now Yoshida. Double overs. The overhooks. Krokop doing his best to try to escape that position. You see uh, Krokop reacting. It looked like he may have maybe gotten a finger in the eye or something, but the fight resumes here. They looked at the referee, Shimada, allowing it to continue. Stalemate in the corner. Keep going! Keep going! Krokop needs to move his feet, get himself out of this corner so he can get some space to push him off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Great head throw. Yoshida looking for wow. the throw and well defended Oh, by my Krokop. gosh. Great work. Great work. Krokop misses with the left hand now again in the clinch, and Yoshida backs up. Tries an uppercut through the guard. Again has Krokop along the ropes. Punches out with an uppercut. Yoshida, typical wrestler, judo fashion. When he punches, he leads with his head. So he's closing the distance very quick. It's hard for Krokop to get the counter off himself. Now, nice outside low leg kick executed by the Croatian sensation. Yoshida's gone the distance with Pride World Middleweight Champion Vetterly Silva on two occasions, losing both fights very close. Wow. Nice, there's that left head kick, and Yoshida smiles at him and says, hey, that was, uh, that was hard, but I survived it. So he wins his first psychological victory, maybe, over Krokop. Krokop's defense is to put his hands out and kind of push Yoshida away. I'm a little worried about that. Oh, Yoshida stepped right into that left hand. But I'm a little worried about that. And you start reaching with your arms, no matter where you are in the fight game. If you reach with those arms, you're leaving your head wide open for attack. Yoshida may not be the most accurate puncher. He's definitely a strong puncher, but is willing to trade. Yoshida says that when it comes to striking, he still has the judoka's habit of pivoting the foot when throwing punches, not the waist. He's trying to rectify that. With those, with those pants on, it's going to be hard to tell if any of these leg kicks that Krokop's prepping with. Oh, oh. tries to close the gap again, and Krokop backpedals, escaping it. Nice short jab delivered by Krokop, and another one, and that left hook also connected. Krokop so light-footed. He never, he never... Oh! Well, there's the attempt at the high kick, unfortunately uh, not paying the dividends, and now he brings Krokop into his closed guard, but uh, I guess it wasn't tongue-in-cheek after all, although that was the right leg, not the left. I said correct him, I said that he wouldn't be able to get his leg up that high, and obviously he can. No more practice, I think he could have put some good pepper behind that. With the gi on, he should be able to hold Krokop down pretty tight, but it's going to be difficult because because Krokop is so slick and so strong in his position, he'd probably pop his way out of it. Just past the halfway point of round number one, the main event here. Now... Nice left hand there by Krokop, and Yoshida does the wise thing and bringing Krokop back down to his chest, clinching around his neck, and now Krokop posturing, creating that distance. 
not really interesting to see if he's going to try to guard pass or just continue. No, he goes back to his feet. And that's what mm. I thought he would do. Wow, Krokop looks a little tired right now. His conditioning may be a little lackluster still. That's kind of weird. Yoshida is pushing the pace, though. Yoshida misses with the left uppercut, but stands in the pocket with Mirko Krokop. Now, nice outside leg kick delivered there by Krokop. I think that did do it. Yeah, you can see right yeah. there. He looked to try to check it, but I think that did its uh, damage to Yoshida. Four minutes left in round number one. And as we get to the later rounds, those leg kicks are really going to help. Wow! They're really going to help out Krokop because it's going to be hard for Yoshida to get any throws off because his leg's going to be sore. Yoshida with the middle kick. Krokop responded with a lightning quick low leg kick to the outside. And again, goes to that lead leg. Uh -oh. And it's doing its damage. As you can see, Yoshida beginning to win, beginning to even limp a bit. Will have to start to move side to side and avoid those kind of attacks. These guys start throwing more more, uh, more setup shots to get back that leg again, so keep working on that leg, inside, outside. He can even use his left leg and come inside that thigh, too. See Yoshida now, see had just reached right there. He's nice deep. right oh. by Yoshida, but again, Krokop goes downstairs, and I think the more he scores with those kicks, the more confidence he is gaining. Krokop scores with another uppercut. Now he is hunting Yoshida. Rocks oh. him with that uppercut. Down goes Yoshida. Smart Krokop knows better than try to give him time to recover, get him up on his feet as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and obviously respects his crowd game, not wanting to go on the ground as he definitely wants to finish him standing. And the crowd now beginning to rally their support behind. Hidehiko Yoshida gets tagged with that left cross again and now challenging Krokop. Oh, and that oh. leg kick has hurt Yoshida. He is down on the canvas. Feeling the effects of those devastating kicks wow. <laughs> from one of the greatest kickers in the sport, Mirko Krokop, unable to continue. Zedekiyo, Hidehiko Yoshida, Mirko Krokop wins the main event. Just little peppering leg shots. You know, nothing vicious, nothing hard. Just keep banging away, banging away at that leg until all of a sudden you can't get up anymore. Devastating punishment. Executed by Mirko Krokop. Hidehiko Yoshida tried to absorb it, unable to continue. So Mirko Krokop rounds out the final four in the 2006 Pride Running Championships Open Weight Tournament.